Hello, welcome back to Tarot Time with Andy. Thank you for being here. This is my vibrational reading. Please do your own research for entertainment purposes and allegedly. Today I would like to do a spread on what did Brian Koberger think, Koberger think of the tailgating being pulled over by the FBI. It is leaked out now uh, that the FBI directed these pullovers and there were two in the same state on the same road. So they were obviously keeping an eye on him it is said that they did it because they wanted to look at his hands to see if there was injuries. Um, I wanted to bring out about his blink, about his lack of a blink rate. Uh, psychopaths have a lack of a blink rate. That's where you get that shark-eyed look. He has that in that. He looks freaked out. I mentioned it before. And that's because they don't blink. They have a much less blink rate than neurotypicals. And that's what gives them that shark, very direct um, glare, that stare. Uh, is because they don't simply blink. Uh, crazy, but that's what it is. So they were obviously, they looked for a reason to pull him over. That's what they did. I don't think the dad was aware. I already did a spread on him. I think he's completely clueless and was used as a tool. Um, they did over talk and over share. Um, some were talking about that it looked like he could have maybe had stitches on his wrist, but you should know that stitches are only in there for about, um, about six, seven days. You know, and then they pull them out. So you would not see stitches by that time. And you don't need a motive. You just have to have the evidence. And boy, do they have it. So much evidence against him. This guy is screwed. And they, he and his dad said, oh, we've been driving for hours. We're going for Thai food. And when he said I was, you know, they were coming from WSU University, boy, he did not look good. And he's apparently a lousy driver and he got pulled over before this too. So he got pulled over quite a bit. So they were on to him. They were really keeping an eye on him. So what did Brian Koberger think of all these getting pulled over? He had to have had this going. He must have really been going, oh boy, I'm in trouble. So what was he thinking? What was Brian Koberger thinking? He was thinking he wants to get home. I'm getting home. Four of Wands is a is a solid home and work or and or work environment. I'm going home. I'm getting out of here. So he wanted to get home. Challenging position. Challenging position. That's a solid home. Ooh. Challenging position. Yeah, I did it. I did it. I killed a bunch of people and now I'm stuck in the situation. And I can't accept it. I hope you don't notice. Death in reverse. Yep. Here. That's, you have a chance to change and get out of the situation. He figured, yeah, I'm, I'm busted. I'm busted. I'm busted. I'm busted. And yes, I did it. I'm getting home. Focal point. Focal point. I sabotaged myself. Now I'm a prisoner in my own mind. How do I get out of this? Past position that doesn't serve. Brian Koberger on this drive. That wanted out. <clears throat> dictator energy so yeah he he's he doesn't have a lot of good feelings for his dad actually even though they appear to have a good relationship uh he didn't want his dad to be in control either uh he wanted to be in control of the situation the dad usually dictates how things are going down that doesn't serve him he had to take control of the situation probably called him and said hey drive with me home i need i don't want to drive this alone it's a long ride and you can help me keep me from falling asleep because it's such a long ride. So he did. So he wanted to dictate it. Dad was not in control. Uh, Brian was behind the wheel. Let's get under the surface. Under the surface, the hidden energy, the hidden energy, the root. The root here for Brian Koberger, the brute. There we go. He, we, he was hoping that yeah, the hard work pays off kind of card here. Uh, with the Eight of Pentacles, that's basically, he felt like he was developing his skills. Developing his skills, uh, he he was quite satisfied with what he did. And this here is, he got some extra knowledge for by doing it. He feels he's got multiple talents, he, and he fulfilled a fantasy, a dream, a promise. To, he made probably to himself to do this. And so now he was thinking, okay, I got my cornucopia. I got everything I did. I did it. I'm, I'm actually feeling kind of good about it. He was dedicated to this goal. It was a goal he achieved. Yeah, he did. And now, how am I going to overcome this since they're pulling me over? Because it's an eight trying to overcome a situation. Uh, so there is some some um, manifesting there. He did manifest it. He manifested it. He felt pretty, pretty pleased with himself. Let's get to the future. The future. The future is Four of Cups, and the Four of Cups in reverse is 
basically he feels like maybe I need to change myself. I had a desire. I need to change this. He wants to change the situation. So four of cups is distancing and retreating. So that's why he was leaving WSU area, Washington state university area. And he was going to distance himself and retreat because he knows he's guilty. This wanted out too. I will take it and flip it. Yes, I'm getting out of stormy waters here with the Six of Swords. I'm getting out of here. Distancing and retreating and getting out of stormy waters. I got to get out of here. Oh, boy, this is an emotional mess that I got myself into. And with the Six, he feel, he, he still felt kind of uh, pleasurable about it. Uh, the Six of Swords also represents a transition period. He needed to transition out of there. And this is kind of the calm after the storm card. And so he had to distance and retreat. It's the calm after the storm, and I'm getting out. So, yeah, it was definitely the calm after the storm <clears throat> for him. He felt it was safe to do so. It was, it was enough time had gone by uh, to leave and not look as suspicious. Like, oh, they probably won't. They don't have this case yet. Then they probably don't have me. So he was, he was actually feeling pretty confident and hoping that they didn't notice, really. Let's get to the uh, feeling. That's that grandiosity of the mind. They just think that they're above the law and nobody will notice. That's their downfall usually is that grandiosity always gets them every time. Feelings in the situation for Brian Koberger. Feelings in the situation. In the situation, what is he feeling? He got pulled over. We got here. Yeah, he talked about being a student and he was leaving WSU. So the Page of Pentacles is that studious academic kid. Here, so basically here is procrastination. I'm going to go take a break. Uh, it's negative news. He felt it was negative news, and it's a student card. The apprenticeship, negative news. So basically it was kind of a negative feeling, and I am a student, but I'm on a break right now. And the Ten of Pentacles, it's a negative legacy. He knew, he knew that if it got out, then that is a negative legacy, uh, that he would be removed from his family. Uh, this is the Ten of Pentacles is about having it all, meet, reaching success, all of that. So, you know, I think he feels that his family has not achieved what he wants. And this is in going in full exile with the hermit in reverse. So going in full exile uh, to get away from the stormy waters, the storm, you know, getting out of that area because he did it. Let's go into the outside influences on that drive, getting probed in question. He looked really freaked out. Outside influences for Brian, how he felt about that car ride. Car ride, he knew he was the odd kid in the family. Yeah, he's the black sheep in the family. The Five of Pentacles, he knows that he, uh, what he did would be, um, well, total, total chaos for starters with the five. Uh, conflicts. So he felt some conflicts. This here is someone who's a total disgrace and scandal. A lot of scandal and disgrace. Um, hard, it would create a hardship for his family, create a hardship for himself. He's the outcast. He would be the outcast, uh, total scandal and basically unemployment also. So he probably did not get that position with the police department that he was applying for. It didn't go through. <clears throat> Hopes and fears we got here. He doesn't, he wants, he was trying to aim for peace by getting away. Maybe I can get some mental peace here because he has a repeated pattern of psychological failure here where he, he feels like, uh, you know, people are always attacking me. I'm always under attack or he always felt like he couldn't fit in creating resentments, not only himself, but other people with the five of swords. Uh, five of swords is basically also walking away. He had to get out of there. I'm getting out of there. This feels like bullying here because they're looking for me. I got to get out of here. So he's feeling this, you know, this is basically fighting back energy. And he has this repeat issue, a pattern of failure. So he has this rep repetitive failure of constantly with other people. And now he's feeling kind of peaceful because that's, I now want peace. Uh, because he doesn't, he knows nobody has his back also. It's a card of nobody has my back. It's also the card of, um, not likely to succeed. Uh, it's kind of a lost cause. So he kind of felt, wow, this could be a lost cause for me. I need to get out. Uh, he has no feelings for anybody. There is no emotional bond. He didn't, did not feel any emotional connection to what he did. That's why he was able to do what he did because he does not feel connected to other people, which is the reason why he has a constant, repeat of uh, failure with people and always feeling like he's being bullied that goes back to his inner childhood wound of not being accepted having things thrown at him by girls nobody will have intermingling energy for him 
So he has his constant repeat of failure, being the outcast, you know, out in the world. He's always that outcast, uh, feeling that shame and not not being accepted. It's the oddball kid in the family. He is the oddball kid in the family that, that has been spoken out. Uh, the Five of Pentacles is that just that super strange kid in your family that needs a place to belong. They just don't feel like they just don't really fit in. It's poverty of the mind also and illness. So he's got poverty of the mind and illness. Let's get to the final outcome with his ride home. With his ride home, we have here, he did it and he got there successfully. So he felt like, yeah, I'm going to win this situation. And he also was thinking, I could get busted. I could get busted here because he had the doubts with this, this challenging position of, yeah, I did it. I killed all those people. I may not get away with it. I can't, ac I can't accept the situation. I can't change what I already did. Creating this prison for myself and my mind. And I could get acknowledged for this. I could get the acknowledgement for what I did. The light's going to shine on me. Yes, I did it. Yes, yes, yes. So this would be, you know, getting attention for a crime. And some that some were saying he's kind of could have been an, um, an incel, which I mentioned the other day was the incel. An incel uh, kind of wants to be busted, you know, sloppy job. Uh, they kind of want to be busted. They want to be known. That's partially why he may have gone back to the crime scene to check it out, to look at it, possibly find the sheath to his um, his knife, but quite possibly also to to um, enjoy what he did. And so he kind of wants the attention, I would say. And he knew that th he could be known as a, as a, as a mass murderer. Uh, let's clarify that Six of Swords. Six of Swords, getting the acknowledgement for the crime and killing pe four people. He would be acknowledged for it. He was acknowledging it within himself. He's sort of celebrating himself, I feel, with that. That it was a victory because there's that reef and that kind of met, re represents victory. And he put all the energy and the, um, the thought into it. It's kind of like an ace of wands here that's sitting to the side here, which is he put a lot of energy in it. And now he felt like out with the old and in with the new. Now I have this new life. And now I have this budding enthusiasm and I can create this and manifest this and I can have the vision and do what I want. I like it. It feels good. <clears throat> Pretty sick, really. Let's get to the, uh, let's clarify that six of wands. Clarify that six of wands. There we go. Six of wands we have here. Yeah, he has um, lied, basically cold calculating, cutting, queen of swords in reverse. Yep, he took out all the women that he thought were um, cruel to him, basically uh, attacking women. He didn't have a high feelings for women, so he wanted to cut them out, get rid of them. Uh, shut them down and so that's why we see queen of swords in reverse he he thought that you know the one he really liked was targeting he liked her a lot he thought that she was kind of kind of an, a bit of an ice queen wasn't giving him any attention he was probably trying to talk to her he was trying to take a chance on talking to her sacrifice himself and talking to her but she wasn't going to have any of it so he took a new perspective and that new perspective and going in pause mode was to remove her uh, and she was a student. She, she was probably intelligent. And then with that queen of swords in reverse, basically he can control the situation with tyranny. Uh, he, he felt that maybe she was too critical of him and cutting, she cut him out. She wasn't interested. So he had to take, he, he basically sacrificed her. He sacrificed the females. Uh, he was mainly, it was after, he was after the women. He wasn't after Ethan. Let's, um, clarify that hangman. Clarify that hangman. Clarify that hangman. Yeah, and that would make them think differently. Like, let those women out there in the world think differently. This can happen to you if you're cruel, cruel and calculating. So this is sort of going on in his own mind here uh, because we have that um, that sword energy of his mind here. So that's really what he was thinking, that he, he got he's able to feel peaceful now because he was able to do what he needed to do. So that put his mind at ease. It was a sort of a comfort measure, which is really sick because it makes him feel good. It, it, it just, it kind of eased that inner wound that he always had. And let's get some more here. That is now he's dealing with the consequences with the two of swords. His, his crossroads are blocked. He had, he can no longer do what he truly wants intellectually. Uh, what else can I say? Two of swords in reverse is basically trying to, um, a lot of anxiety, I would say. Uh, he's stuck. This is a stuck position. A lot of worry. 
uh, total compromise. He's got a compromise now, a lot of indecisions. He's got difficult decisions to make. Does he want to admit it or is he going to lie? Uh, this is in a lying position because the swords are down. So he's feeling very guarded, lots and lots of, of, of indifference. Like, what do I do? What do I do? Uh, he's very blindfolded. He has to take that blindfold off and make a decision. So here he will make a decision. Uh, but he's dealing with the consequences. So that fork in the road of intellectual lifestyle that he enjoyed so much is now over. Uh, two of swords, if it was, you know, two, the, the swords represent uh, basically having intellect, ideas, beliefs, your imagination, your thoughts. So he's kind of shut down a bit, I would say. Um, not happy, just definite dealing with the consequences. So lots of consequences. He needs to face it, take the blindfold off, his heart, his heart is blocked once again. No bonding and connecting to anyone. The heart chakra is blocked. He really doesn't care. So there is no remorse, no guilt, shame. They they do feel they can't. Narcissists can feel shame, uh, but they have no guilt or remorse. There is none of that. And so yeah. And so back to the eyes. That is the lack of blinking. Very so you know psychopathic energy. If he's not a psychopath and he's got something else, comorbidity going on, he's got very, very high psychopathic traits. You know, his toe is on the line and maybe some other comorbidity is what drove him over that line. Uh, he, could, he could possibly have uh, something in the very neurotic category, uh, like, you know, with a little bit of schizophrenia, you know, weirdo thoughts, you know, everyone's out to get me. Uh, because it was like that when he was young and it could have triggered that like everywhere I go people are out to get me but that's a really deep psychological um, problem he could he could be partially like a male schizoid or or in that neurotic category uh, mixed with some high psychopathy traits a very wounded man very very wounded individual and I think they thought he was Asperger's but I don't think he is because they don't they don't do this kind of behavior they're just too gullible and honest and they typically don't do, they typically don't, but I know there has been some others that have. So it's kind of, it's, it's really hard to dissect the situation, to be honest. I go back and forth thinking about it and trying to do process of elimination. Pardon my dog here. So he's thinking about his family right now while he was on that car ride. He knows that he did the cutting out. That's loss of life too. Ace of Swords represents cutting out also. So he knows that he's going to be cut out of his family. He knows that it was a risk. I hope they don't notice what I did here with the death card. And this could really cost me. And he was full well aware. He's thinking about his family. Like, I really want to get home. I got to get home to my family because this could be it. I could be cut out of my family because I committed the loss of life. Because the Ace of Swords is cutting out. It is a loss of life. And he would think that the law, the law will not be on his favor uh, because he's guilty. He would still probably claim that it was he's not getting what he deserves because he's going to lie. He's going to lie. He is that thief. He is that masked man that came in here uh, with the Seven of Swords. And he would claim that he didn't get a fair trial, more than likely. Uh, and then over on this side, I have, I have here, he created a lot of pain and suffering uh, to accomplish what he wanted. And so he's thinking about his mother, you know, thinking about his mother, but very unbalanced energy with her. He hates women. Uh, she was the one to provide a comfort, comfortable home and whatnot. Mom's very emotional. I upset my mother. You know, she thought everything would go well in my life. You know, at the Wheel of Fortune, good karma, good luck, that I'd always stay balanced and juggle work and play, and I'd be a professional. But I took a very reckless decision. I had this fantasy in my mind, and I chose wrong, and I, I did something very reckless. And here we have judge, jury, executioner, and I cut people out. Once again, we have another sword cutting out, which means he can get the death penalty here. And uh, because he's a rebellious individual who does not value family life, does not value structures of society, complete total rebellion here, create a major tower crashing moment and uh, hitting a rock bottom for everybody here. Uh, so yeah, anyways, pretty scary stuff. Terrible, terrible um, prayers to the family, prayers to the friends, prayers to the community. And um, may they rest in peace. And I know they're probably watching all this, to be honest. That's how I feel. My energetic feelings is they, they, they typically will stick around for a while. 
a lot of times they don't transition right away. They do kind of hoover around. Um, I've done readings where I've actually had a orb fly across my table. And it was when I was doing a Princess Diana reading. Uh, you saw this little orb, this little fuzzy ball go. So they do, they do come in. They can hang around. They do watch. And I'm sure that they're overlooking their parents and their family right now. They don't necessarily go over and stay over right away. They, they tend to linger for a while. At least that's what a lot of mediums have said. And so I've seen orbs before. All right, you guys, till next time, like and subscribe. Bye, you guys.